Okay, so we're at floor level inside a Tesla and we are dropping down. No, not clever video effects, we just cut the bottom out. And now we get to see my big gumboots in the Tesla battery. So, here's a follow up to my first video on how the Tesla battery is laid out. Now we've got the spine sort of out of it. It's looking like a dying dinosaur or something. And I can show you what I said about the wiring. So, very deep inside of all this expanding foam. I guess that's insulation and probably fireproof as well. Um, we have the one going back to the negative terminal. So that's a little buzz bar onto a bit of thick cable. Um, and then this with a poke through there to connect that guy. And then the next one like that to connect to the next. And again, another one of these guys here. Now I'm kind of interested in that loop. I guess it's their way of going, moving across the top. But it's not, it's not avoiding the main central cable because that's still inside. That's still somewhere oh, well buried down there. Yeah, down there. So yeah, not sure quite why they put that. Guess it's the only way of getting through nicely, maybe. Um, also the BMS leads. Obviously they're doing some kind of data communication because the back of the cell modules has got its own computer in there. So unlike the Leaf, much better than the Leaf, I would say they're not dragging all the series is back down to a central BMS computer somewhere. They've got no high voltage in these leads. That's very sensible. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to add to this update. So, hope you found it useful. Cheers.